systems thinking is the process of understanding how those things which may be regarded as systems influence one another within a complete entity or larger system. In nature, systems thinking examples include ecosystems in which various elements such as air, water, movement, plants, and animals work together to survive or perish. In organizations, systems consist of people, structures, and processes that work together to make an organization healthy or unhealthy. Systems thinking has roots in a diverse range of sources from Jan Smut's holism in the 1920s to the general systems theory that was advanced by Ludwig von Bertalampfi in the 1940s and cybernetics advanced by Ross Ashby in the 1950s. The field was further developed by Jay Forrester and members of the Society for Organizational Learning at MIT which culminated in the popular book, The Fifth Discipline by Peter Sanger which defined systems thinking as the capstone for true organizational learning. Cornell University systems scientist Derek Cabrera's book, Systems Thinking Made Simple, explains that systems thinking itself is the emergent property of complex adaptive system behavior that results from four simple rules of thought. Systems thinking has been defined as an approach to problem solving that attempts to balance holistic thinking and reductionistic thinking. By taking the overall system as well as its parts into account systems thinking is deigned to avoid potentially contributing to further development of unintended consequences. There are many methods and approaches to systems thinking. For example, the Waters Foundation presents that systems thinking is not one thing but a set of habits or practices within a framework that is based on the belief that the component parts of a system can best be understood in the context of relationships with each other and with other systems rather than in isolation, and that systems thinking focuses on cyclical rather than linear cause and effect, whereas other models characterize systems thinking quite differently. Recent scholars, however, are focused on the patterns that connect this pluralism of methods. This search for universal patterns that cut across the pluralism of individual methods of systems thinking is called universality in systems science. It is argued that the only way to fully understand why a problem or element occurs and persists is to understand the parts in relation to the whole. Standing in contrast to Descartes's scientific reductionism and philosophical analysis, it proposes to view systems in a holistic manner, consistent with systems philosophy. Systems thinking concerns an understanding of a system by examining the linkages and interactions between the elements that compose the entirety of the system. Systems science thinking attempts to illustrate how small catalytic events that are separated by distance and time can be the cause of significant changes in complex systems. Acknowledging that an improvement in one area of a system can adversely affect another area of the system, it promotes organizational communication at all levels in order to avoid the silo effect. Systems thinking techniques may be used to study any kind of system, physical, biological, social, scientific, engineered, human, or conceptual. The concept of a system. Several ways to think of and define a system include. A system is composed of parts. All the parts of a system must be related, else there are really two or more distinct systems. A system is encapsulated. The boundary of a system is a decision made by an observer or a group of observers. A system can be nested inside another system. A system can overlap with another system. A system is bounded in time, but may be intermittently operational. A system is bounded in space, though the parts are not necessarily co-located. A system receives input from, and sends output into, the wider environment. A system consists of processes that transform inputs into outputs. A system is autonomous in fulfilling its purpose. Systems science thinkers consider that a system is a dynamic and complex whole, interacting as a structured functional unit circuit. Energy, material and information flow among the different elements that compose a system. A system is a community situated within an environment. Energy, 
material and information flow from and to the surrounding environment via semi-permeable membranes or boundaries that may include negotiable limits. Systems are often composed of entities seeking equilibrium but can exhibit patterns, cycling, oscillation, randomness or chaos or exponential behavior. A holistic system is any set of interdependent or temporally interacting parts. Parts are generally systems themselves and are composed of other parts, just as systems are generally parts or hollands of other systems. Systems science and the application of systems science thinking has been grouped into the following three categories based on the techniques or methodologies used to design, analyze, modify, or manage a system. Hard systems involving simulations. Hard systems approaches to system thinking often use computers and the techniques of operations research, management science. Hard systems approaches are useful for problems that can be justifiably quantified. However, hard systems cannot easily take into account unquantifiable variables such as opinions, culture, or politics, etc., and may treat people as being passive, rather than as having complex motivations. Soft systems, or soft systems methodology, is a methodology for systems that cannot easily be quantified especially systems involving people holding multiple and conflicting frames of reference. Soft systems methods are useful for understanding motivations, viewpoints, and interactions, and for addressing qualitative as well as quantitative dimensions of problem situations. Soft systems approaches to system thinking may utilize foundation methodological work developed by Peter Checkland. Brian Wilson and their colleagues at Lancaster University, and may include morphological analysis which is a complementary method for structuring and analyzing non-quantifiable problem complexes. Evolutionary Systems B.E.Q.T.L.A.H. Banathy developed a methodology that is applicable to the design of complex social systems. This technique integrates critical systems inquiry with soft systems methodologies. Evolutionary systems, similar to dynamic systems, are understood as open, complex systems, but with the capacity to evolve over time. Banathy uniquely integrated the interdisciplinary perspectives of systems research, cultural anthropology, evolutionary theory, and others. The systems approach. The systems thinking approach incorporates several tenets, interdependence of objects and their attributes, independent elements can never constitute a system, holism, emergent properties not possible to detect by analysis should be possible to define by a holistic approach. Goal-seeking, systemic interaction must result in some goal or final state. Inputs and outputs, in a closed system inputs are determined once and constant, in an open system additional inputs are admitted from the environment. Transformation of inputs into outputs, this is the process by which the goals are obtained. Entropy, the amount of disorder or randomness present in any system. Regulation, a method of feedback is necessary for the system to operate predictably. Hierarchy. Complex holes are made up of smaller subsystems. Differentiation. Specialized units perform specialized functions. Equifinality. Alternative ways of attaining the same objectives. Multifinality. Attaining alternative objectives from the same inputs. A treatise on systems thinking ought to address many issues including encapsulation of a system in space and or in time, active and passive systems, transformation by an activity system of inputs into outputs, persistent and transient systems, evolution, the effects of time passing, the life histories of systems and the parts, design and designers. Using the tenet of multifinality, a supermarket could be considered to be a profit-making system from the perspective of management and owners, a distribution system from the perspective of the suppliers, an employment system from the perspective of employees, a material supply system from the perspective of customers, an entertainment system from the perspective of loiterers, a social system from the perspective of local residents.
a dating system from the perspective of single customers. As a result of such thinking, new insights may be gained into how the supermarket works, why it has problems, how it can be improved or how changes made to one component of the system may impact the other components. Applications Systems science thinking is increasingly being used to tackle a wide variety of subjects in fields such as computing, engineering, epidemiology, information science, health, manufacture, management, sustainable development, and the environment. Professor Raja Gopal, EGADE Business School, building on the work of Ferdinand Tonis has suggested the application of systems thinking and developing marketing strategy from the perspectives of corporate business restructuring in the post-economic recession situations. Some examples, urban planning, organizational architecture, job design, team population and work unit design, linear and complex process design, the limits to growth, system safety, reliability engineering, systems engineering, safety engineering, system design, business continuity planning with FMEA PRA protocol, critical infrastructure protection via FBI InfraGuard, Delphi method, developed by RAND for USAF, Future Studies, Thought Leadership Mentoring, the public sector including examples at the Systems Thinking Review, Leadership Development, Oceanography, Forecasting Complex Systems Behavior, Permaculture, Quality Function Deployment, Quality Management, Quality Storyboard, Story Tech Framework, Software Quality, Program Management, Project Management, MECE, the Vanguard Method, Sociocracy, Family, Social System, Society, Social System, Community, Social System, Linear Thinking, Gemeinschaft and Gesellschaft, Names, Paul Alfred Weiss, Examples of Systems, Kenneth Boulding's Hierarchy of Systems Table 3.1 Kenneth Boulding's Hierarchy of Systems Level Characteristic Unit Summary Description Framework Static systems clockwork simple dynamic systems thermostat control mechanisms and cybernetic systems cell open systems or self-maintaining structures plant genetic societal systems animal mobile teleological systems with self-awareness human individual animal systems with self-consciousness human society social systems with self-consciousness transcendental idea ultimate absolutes, and inescapable knowledges Stafford Beer's Classification of Systems Figure 4.1 Stafford Beer's Classification of Systems Based on Degrees of Complexity and Uncertainty Source Beer Systems Simple Complex Exceedingly Complex Deterministic Window Catch Electronic Digital Empty Computer Billiards Planetary System Machine Shop Automation Layout Probabilistic penny tossing, stock holding the economy, jellyfish conditioned the brain movement reflexed, statistical industrial the company quality control profitability bibliography, Russell L. Akoff Akoff's best, his classic writings on management, ISBN 0-471-31634-2. Russell L. Akoff Systems Thinking for Curious Managers. ISBN 978-0-9562631-55, BE Acute LAH, Banathy Designing Social Systems in a Changing World, ISBN 0-306-45251-0, BE Acute LAH, Banathy Guided Evolution of Society. A Systems View, ISBN 0-306-46382-2, Ludwig von Bertalampfi General System Theory, Foundations, Development, Applications, ISBN 0-8076-0453-4, Derek Cabrera Systems Thinking Made Simple, New Hope for Solving Wicked Problems, ISBN 9780996349307 Fritz of Capra The Web of Life ISBN 0006547516
Peter Checkland Systems Thinking, Systems Practice. ISBN 0-471-27911-0. Peter Checkland, Jim Scholes Soft Systems Methodology in Action. ISBN 0-471-92768-6. Peter Checkland, Jim Sue Holwell Information, Systems and Information Systems, ISBN 0-471-95820-4. Peter Checkland, John Polter Learning for Action, ISBN 0-470-02554-9. C. West Churchman The Systems Approach, ISBN 0-440-38407-9. John Gall The Systems Bible, The Beginner's Guide to Systems Large and Small, ISBN 0-9618251-7-0, Jamshigarayadagi Systems Thinking, Managing Chaos and Complexity, A Platform for Designing Business Architecture, ISBN 0-7506-7973-5, Charles Francois, International Encyclopedia of Systems and Cybernetics, Munchen, KG, Saw, Charles L. Hutchins Systemic Thinking, Solving Complex Problems, CO, PDS, ISBN 1-888-017-511, Bradford Keeney Aesthetics of Change, ISBN 1-57230-830-3, Don Ella Meadows Thinking in Systems, a primer ISBN 978-1-84407-726-7. Pouvro David, Une Histoire de la Systémologie Générale de Ludwig von Bertalam Fi, Genealogie, Genis, Actualisation a Posterité d'un Projet Hermeneutique. Doctoral thesis, École des Hautes Études en Sciences Socialis, Paris, http colon slash slash tel dot archives dash uvertus dot fr slash tel dash 0804157. John Seddon Systems Thinking in the Public Sector, ISBN 9780955008184. Peter M. Seng The Fifth Discipline, The Art and Practice of the Learning Organization, ISBN 0-385-260954, Lars Skeitner General Systems Theory, Problems, Perspective, Practice ISBN 9812564675. Graham Snooks, A General Theory of Complex Living Systems, Exploring the Demand Side of Dynamics, Complexity, 13, July, August, 12-20. Frederick Vester, The Art of Interconnected Thinking, Ideas and Tools for Tackling with Complexity, ISBN 3 9393140566. Gerald M. Weinberg An Introduction to General Systems Thinking, ISBN 0-932633-498. Brian Wilson Systems, Concepts, Methodologies and Applications, 2nd ed. ISBN 0-471-927163-3. Brian Wilson Soft Systems Methodology. Conceptual Model Building and Its Contribution, ISBN 0-471-89489-3, Ludwig von Bertalamp Fee General System Theory, ISBN 0-8076-0453-4, Dietrich Dorner The Logic of Failure, Trans. Rita Kimber and Robert Kimber, ISBN 9780201479485, Barry Richmond Introduction to Systems Thinking, Stella, ISBN 9780970492111.